Today, computers pervade every aspect of our lives and they are embedded in every device we use. The Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the IIT Madras is in the forefront of the information age and is propelling Indians towards global leadership. In 1973, an IBM 370 mainframe computer was installed in the computer center at IIT Madras. This machine at that time was the second most powerful computer in India. This exciting event enthused a number of young faculty and students who became interested in the new field of computers. Many of these faculty and students went on to build up the department and to become leaders of the new computer field in India and abroad. In 1984, the computer science department had its formal beginning when it started the undergraduate program. At that time, it had five faculty members and 50 students. Today, the department has grown to 22 faculty and over 400 students. The department and its internationally renowned staff have a great impact on education, basic research, socially and industry oriented R&D and national service. Departmental computing facility called the DCF is the central facility for all the computing needs of the department. It has four state-of-the-art servers mounted on a rack. The PCs and the file servers are connected using high-performance 100 Mbps network. The DCF also houses all the critical infrastructure of the department like the web server, mail servers and the domain name servers. DCF has network equipment like routers, switches and LAN trainer kits that are used by students in courses related to computer networks. The hardware lab in the DCF has equipment to train students in basic digital design, microcontrollers and systems design. DCF is also used for conducting short-term courses, workshops and training sessions. The facility is also a popular venue for various contests in Shastra, the Institute's annual technical event. The department library houses all available books published on computer science and engineering and is a reference point for study and research. Collaborative research with DRDO and other organizations in the areas of mutual interest identifies new researchable topics, conducts awareness workshops and short-term courses. The student, scholar and teacher interaction is very high in areas of research. Faculty of the department participate in several R&D projects with selected foreign countries. The theoretical computer science activities in this lab are related to foundation research in core areas of computer science such as algorithms, automata theory, cryptography, and discrete mathematics. Uh, in computer science, there are essentially three aspects, one focusing on the system, another one is on software development, and yet another foundation aspect is covering research in theoretical computer science. This laboratory is focusing on research activities related to theoretical computer science and that is why this is called theoretical computer science lab. Our main focus is currently in all aspects of algorithms and also in cryptology. We also do basic research in automata theory, formal languages and unconventional models of computing. Professor Kamalakar Thivasan, who is a pioneer in this area, is carrying out research in automata theory and unconventional computing. My colleague Dr. Narayan Swami is interested in graph algorithms. I particularly focus on all aspects of cryptology. 
The reconfigurable and intelligent systems engineering RISE group is a collaboration of three labs working in the field of VLSI. Recent focus areas are on high availability of systems, fault tolerance, reduced power consumption, fast and scalable algorithms for handling multi-million gate designs, verification of mission critical hardware, efficient hardware for cryptographic applications, and generation of test sets at very high levels of abstraction. This uh, platform uh, follows the same TeleOSB architecture and has the same features as that of TeleOSB architecture, that's open source platform. With availability of such nodes here in India, IIT Madras hopes the engineering community in India to use these uh, low-cost alternatives and uh, enable their research and development work. The Network Systems Lab played an important role in establishing the Ernet Network, the first network interconnecting educational institutions in India. The lab is the lead node for providing a smart and secure computing environment across eight educational institutions in Tamil Nadu. Now the focus has shifted to the proposed National Knowledge Network, providing 1 gigabit per second links between educational institutions. The Dawn Lab focuses on industry computing, cutting edge networking and computing technology applied to large scale problems in India. Low cost products for communication infrastructure and use of ICT in rural areas are developed here. Products that have emerged include the NMS Works Signet Network Management System used by many telecom operators in India and the Novatium Net PC, a low-cost, thin alternative to the PC. For college education, a LAN trainer kit that gives engineering students hands-on experience has been developed. The Telnet Online TT is an internet-based education program launched in 2005 in rural areas for 10th and 12th standard students. The High Performance Computing and Network Lab and the Don Lab are engaged in research in wireless and optical networks. We have uh, programmed four modes, uh, out of which uh, they, we have divided them into two groups. Suppose if this mode comes in proximity to a mode which is its body, then it will start blinking. So now you can see like one more mode who is like not my buddy, so who comes close to me, they won't blink. The Distributed Systems Research Lab at IIT Madras primarily focuses on building large scale distributed systems. In the past 15 years, the lab has pioneered uh, in developing several abstractions for grid computing and these include the anonymous remote computing and communication, uh, Vishwa a uh, uh, peer-to-peer uh, grid middleware, Virat a large scale data grid platform uh, to name a few. Now we shall have a look at Arugeshri, an internet based mobile telemedicine system. So this project aims to bring the expertise of doctors in the urban areas closer to the patients in the rural areas. Now we shall have a look at the demo which was shown at CBIT 2009. In this video we can see the Arogyashree telemedicine kit consists of the ECG jacket which is a dual channel 3 lead ECG. The measurements captured by this ECG jacket will be transferred via Bluetooth to a, to a netbook.
The thrust of activities in the Speech and Vision Lab is on the development of natural input and output interfaces to a computer through speech and image. The focus is on development of speech input-output systems for Indian languages with the objective of achieving speech translation from one Indian language to another. Another objective is to develop person authentication systems for providing secured access to information using biometrics that involve inputs from speech, face images or video and developing systems for content-based information retrieval. The Speech and Vision Lab has been active in developing signal processing algorithms for speech and image processing. This is a recording for speech enhancement. The Don Lab is engaged in the development of automatic speech recognition systems. Text to speech synthesis systems for Indian languages and speaker identification systems. The in-building speech recognition for Indian languages is on segmentation of speech into syllable-like units and development of acoustic models for these units. Ganguly. The Computer Vision Laboratory has developed methods for object recognition that can be used for image-based search in image databases. Surveillance systems have been developed and deployed in the department building that in real time detect, track and extract high resolution pictures of the faces of people entering the building. This is matched with faces in the database for building security. A system has also been developed for image-based analysis of objectionable websites. of course is an object and scene understanding. We do works for different research labs in the areas of different surveillance and geographical information systems, foreground objects from scenes and then recognize them. We do applications on content-based video retrieval or CBVR and we have come up with a new technology on multispectral temporal curvature scale space which is the uh, very novel technology and state-of-the-art. In the field of Biometry, which is person authentication, we do multimodal uh, 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 person uh, recognition. We also work on three-dimensional face and video-based uh, person recognition. In the AIDB lab, artificial intelligence, data and knowledge engineering are actively pursued. Case-based reasoning is based on the principle that similar problems have similar solutions. The research is primarily on how to use our experience of having solved a problem in the past to solve the problem at hand. This is a satellite uh, health monitoring system that we have a case base. So we have a original base database of uh, various satellite parameters that we have initially classified as being healthy or not healthy. Basically compare it to our old data and uh, find out uh, cases that uh, are very close to the new data and depending upon what we had initially classified the data as, we say whether the new satellite data is also represents a healthy satellite or not. XML is currently used extensively as a framework to represent and exchange data over the web. The department is engaged in a collaborative project with Shankaranetralaya, a leading ophthalmic research facility in Chennai, on analyzing data from numerous studies conducted by the hospital in order to partially automate the screening and treatment of various eye disorders. The computer science department investigating various disorders like retinal problems in premature babies, problems due to diabetes, deformation of the cornea and glaucoma. Various aspects of robotic systems like communicating and coordination of robots, interaction and transfer of learning from one robot to another, and building robot platforms are done in the RISE lab. 